after so long we were together again, sharing the desire to enjoy every moment. We started the trip with a strange feeling of disconnection between us. The present, that treasure we carry with us every day and that escapes from our hands. That's how we began to talk, a conversation that ended up with the unexpected decision to turn off the phones during the times we were together. Everything that happened from that moment on would become part of our past without leaving a single trace of what we had experienced. We just wanted those days to be ours, they would live in our minds like memories of past times too. They say the family we choose can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Words were gone with the wind, and I promised myself that nothing would stop my desire to disconnect from everything. Not so long ago, he said, there was such a large lagoon here that it got lost in the horizon. A paradise full of life that humans dried up to grow crops. Perhaps one day the great lagoon will flood these lands again, and birds will rest here before crossing to Africa once more. Suddenly he was transfixed, staring at the fire for a few minutes. Eyes never lie. He looked at me and said, Nature is balanced, but humans destroy it. We tried to wake him up from his trance, but it was in vain. We got lost in the woods. What's going on with him? Just forget it. Intuition is a whisper from our souls, warning us against things to come. He asked me how old would I think I was if I didn't know the day I was born. I didn't know what to say then, but I understood that some questions need no answers and some moments should not be shared in order to transcend. We never talked about what happened those days again, but I can't stop thinking about it. We are the songs we sing coming back home, the memories that make our minds travel, and also the people that make us feel alive. 